Okay, y'all, so this news literally just dropped. Jonathan Majors apparently admitted to getting physical with his ex in these text messages that were read out in court. Let's talk about it. Okay, so People Magazine says this. Jonathan Majors appears to admit physically attacking ex Grace Jabari in text messages entered into evidence. So it says here in text messages between Jonathan Majors and accuser Grace Jabari, the Marvel actor appears to admit to physical violence against his now ex six months before the original incident, all right? Six months before he was arrested in March and charged. Um, I fear you have no perspective of what could happen if you go to the hospital. That's what he apparently texted Jabari in September of 2022. Uh, they will ask you questions. And as I don't think you actually protect us, it could lead to an investigation if you do lie and they suspect something. In the text messages, and of course this was displayed for the jury to read, Jabari appears to assure Majors that she would not blame him for allegedly causing an injury to her head. Uh, she said, I will tell the doctor I bumped my head. Jabari cried as she read aloud the message in court. Then unable to continue through her tears, assistant DA Kelly Galloway took over. I will tell the doctor I bumped my head if I go. I'm going to give it one more day, but I can't sleep and I need some stronger painkillers. That's all. Why would I tell them what really happened when it's clear I want to be with you? I mean, and I could stop reading. We could stop the whole entire article here. We could stop the whole trial here. <laughs> I mean, and we haven't even gotten to the other crazier text messages that he sent yet, right? So it just gives me very textbook domestic violence situation. Here you have something allegedly happening, right, in September of 2022. And, you know, instead of this guy worried about, you know, <laughs> Grace's head, the trauma, the physical pain that she's in, this guy is apparently worried about, hey, you know, if you're going to lie, you better make sure you lie good because they're going to suspect something if you don't. Uh, do you actually want to protect us? It's so crazy that he's saying that. Meanwhile, he was the one getting allegedly, girl, <laughs> he was the one allegedly getting physical right with grace and it's just like you put in this oh you don't want to protect us oh uh you got to make sure you be careful uh and then of course here you have grace apparently an abused person right giving the kinds of responses that you you kind of expect right like trying to protect this guy of course trying to make sure that he doesn't think that you're gonna out his tea when you go to the hospital because that can just mean that your day your month gets even worse um as of course he would take that shit out on you you know what i mean just an someone who's who's being abused trying to calm their abuser down trying to protect themselves trying to just tell him whatever he wants to hear uh so that right you he, you could calm his ass down you could protect and, and at the same time trying to uh get some kind of medical care for yourself uh because you will you know what I mean? Because you got an injury from his ass. So it's just crazy. And like I said, we haven't got to the craziest parts yet. The text messages, which were previously mentioned by prosecutors in a 115-page pretrial filing in October, are considered Molyneux evidence, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, uh, which the New York State Unified Court System defines as conduct that is inextricably interwoven with the charged acts and which may provide necessary background information or explanation to the charged acts. In that filing, prosecutors mentioned medical records from London related to an incident that occurred in September 2022. Keep in mind, these text messages are from September 2022. That earlier incident of alleged abuse had previously been ruled inadmissible, but in a series of cross-examination questions, which presiding judge had said lacked specificity, the defense opened the door to prosecutors being able to share with the jury text messages regarding that prior incident the judge told lawyers friday morning so from my understanding because this is what the court said because like we're just focusing on this particular in the most current incident the incident that happened in september 2022 and the text messages and all that shit was not supposed to be admissible but because of um jonathan majors own lawyers and their i guess kind of sloppy cross-examination um the judge said okay since y'all doing that we can open the doors up to letting this these text messages this evidence from 
um, the previous event, the previous alleged abuse event, we can let all that shit um, be admissible now since y'all come in with this um, uh, cross-examination that the judge said lacked spec that lacked specificity. So, I mean, I think that's very important to make note of because if I'm understanding this correctly, it seems like Jonathan's lawyers fucked that shit up and made it so that even more evidence against him from this uh, 2022 incident can be used against him in court, even though the the trial is about this March or whatever, this most recent 2023 incident. So yeah, his lawyers fucked that shit up. <laughs> Jeez. On cross-examination earlier this week, Chandri, one of uh, Mayer's defense lawyers, had drilled Jabari about why the morning after the alleged March 2023 incident, the woman had told emergency personnel that she did not remember how she became um, injured. Gaffey said Friday morning that Chandri had asked the questions, uh, the judge said Friday morning that Chandri had asked the questions in an effort to impugn Jabari's credibility, even though they knew there might be another reason she was not forthcoming. In those September 2022 text messages, Majors had responded to Jabari, threatening suicide if his then-girlfriend went to the hospital for her injured head. Last night, I considered killing myself versus coming home, Majors wrote to Jabari, adding, I need love too, or maybe I'm such a monster and horrible man, I don't deserve it, and I should just kill myself. In this way, my existence is miserable, I want to die. Uh, Jabari then responded, I will not go to the doctor if you don't feel safe with me doing so or don't trust me to. I promise you I would never mention you, but understand your fear. Okay, so here you have somebody who's obviously injured, allegedly injured by Jonathan Majors, obviously, um, and, you know, trying to at least seek some kind of medical care, but at the same time, calm his ass down so he doesn't think that you're about to, you know, report his ass or anything, or just making the situation, you just don't want to make the situation work, worse with somebody who you already know is going to be aggressive and doing all this kind of shit. So to, in order to prevent all of that, in order for, to prevent you from seeking medical care and possibly out, outing him as the abuser that he is, he threatens suicide. Um, and now puts all that shit on you and you're already in this vulnerable position. You're being taken advantage of by this person and you're just like, yo, I promise you whatever. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to mention you, blah, 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 blah. It's so wild. Like while she's sitting over here holding her hurting head, he's over here talking about, oh, well, don't I deserve love too? I need love too. And it's like, okay, well maybe if you wasn't, you know, punching people out or choking them out, Maybe you could have some girl. Like, I don't know. Like, what do you want me to tell you? What do you want me to tell you, girl? Telling her that she could not reject his love and admonishing her for not hugging him after the alleged fight. Ugh, boy, boy, move. Boy, move. Um, Majors noted by text that he would probably end his life. He said, it's really not contemplating anymore. I'm a monster, a horrible man, not capable of love. I'm ending my life soon. Um, and then Jabari... Uh, responded with, Jonathan, you can't say this. I'm going to have to tell someone. The article talks about what Jonathan Majors was doing while the text messages were being read aloud. Uh, he just had his head down, his hands in his lap. His binder of notes were shut. Now, the details of that September 22 uh, incident were not further detailed for the jury as that earlier incident is still otherwise precluded from coming into trial. I wonder though, if in the future, Jonathan Majors' lawyers will continue to um, mess up in ways that allow more and more evidence of that alleged September, 2022 incident to be just released in court, you know? However, in the 115 page filing reviewed by People, prosecutors listed a series of texts by Jabari in September, 2022, um, only some of which were shared with the jury Friday, which included, per prosecutors, photographs of a hand, shoulder, and buttocks, along with texts about punching and discussing pain. And as shared with the jury Friday on September 22nd, 2022, a text with JM using Majors' initials, re-medical treatment. In court Friday, Galloway then moved in on her redirect questioning of Jabari to the March incident, asking Jabari why she had initially told emergency personnel that she did not know she had become injured. Um, Jabari answered, I was just scared of the consequences of it. I still wanted to protect him. 
Um, so when she was asked, do you know who caused your injuries on March 25th, 2023? She said, I do, Jonathan Majors. Now, every single time I make a video on this case about this trial, it looks worse and worse and worse for Jonathan Majors. Um, what we have seen, what's being set up is a scenario that reminds me of just like the cyclical natures of abuse. What it looks like is an abuser you know, abusing, getting physical to the point where you're hurting someone, like literally someone else is left in pain to to the extent that they're just like, I, I want to go to the hospital. Like they, they want to be seeking medical care after they had to deal with your ass. So you, that's the type of abuse that we're seeing that's being alleged, right? And then, so after that happens, you know, the abuser sees, oh God, you know, they're going to they're gonna start asking questions if you go get some help. And not only that, they're trying to get back into their good graces. So, of course, you know, this abuser comes out and is uh, apparently saying, hey, I want to end my life. If you take certain steps to protect yourself, if you take certain steps to remove yourself from the situation or even alert anybody to what's going on, like, I'm just going to end my life. And that's that. If you, I mean, I'm just going to do it right now. I'm just going to, I'm going to say I'm going to do it right now before you even... Uh, think about stepping foot into no hospital or anything like that. So it's just, of course, ma another manipulation tactic. That's definitely, I think, what the text messages are demonstrating, right? And I think it's really just, re it's really terrible that, like, victims of abuse have to go through this as it is. You know, I understand that it is the legal process, but I can't imagine going through that as a victim of abuse and then somebody lawyer looking in your face while while your abuser sitting over there right somebody lawyer looking at they, they lawyer looking in your face asking oh why didn't you come out sooner why don't you t why didn't you tell people when the emergency responders came what the t was girl he was threatening to he was threatening to off himself in my fucking test messages and he was gonna beat my ass after if i tried his ass like like what do you mean so it just really sucks that you know I mean, that's that's what the legal process is at this point. I just can only imagine how much it has to suck if you're like a victim of abuse. And not only do you have to be walking around um, seeing your abuser sitting right there in court, but then they lawyers in your face asking you, oh, well, why didn't you why didn't you magically erase the abuse from your life? Why didn't you um, come out as soon as possible? Why didn't you disregard every um you know instinct that you had about your safety and, and just come out immediately and put yourself on the chopping block even though you know this snake is aggressive and 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 will beat your ass like why did you do that shit? like i can't imagine going through all of that and these lawyers asking you this shit, and you have to keep your own composure you have to like you know almost re-experience all this trauma that you you went through to, to get that got you here in the fucking first place it's just it's wild but yeah um not looking too good for kang he better find another goddamn timeline because this one, I'm, t <laughs> I'm telling you right now, his timeline about to get pruned, okay? On that note, thank you so much for watching. Check out my description box for my podcast that's on my Patreon account, um, for my music, uh, for my audiobook, my ebooks, all that stuff are in my description box. Love y'all so much and make sure that you have a good goddamn evening. Like Rufus, you can't betray the pussy like Judas. You can't betray the pussy like Brutus. You can't